we're back and it's time for Liz Gonzalez and the list. So today we're talking about the best cities to be an athlete in and we're going to kick off the list with Dallas Fort Worth. Now I am from Fort Worth but I don't want to live there but there is one major perk I have to completely accept and that's the following. Check this out. One million dollars in New York City buys you a one bedroom 525 square foot home $1 million in Dallas, Fort Worth. That buys you a mansion, four bedrooms, five bathrooms, a pool, on the golf course, in a cul-de-sac. They've yeah. got us on real estate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough seeing that. I mean, also, if you're a millionaire in Dallas, you at some point will get to date Jessica Simpson. It's just the rules. <laughs> Next up, uh, Miami. I had to put it on this list. The weather is wonderful year-round. No state taxes. It's the only place that's managed to ever pull LeBron James away from Cleveland. And let's be honest, Will Smith said it best. Party in the city where the heat is on. I'm not going to do that ever again. <laughs> that's probably the corniest I've ever been. <laughs> the needle on my eye. There you go. Nice job. Welcome to my Thank you. Thank you. This is why we need a lady up here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, Miami is like, uh, you know, it's like galleries. It's I don't like Miami. Just one of my ex-girlfriends lives there, uh, Gloria Estefan. So, I don't like it there. All your exes live in Miami? Just one. Just Gloria. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Boston's got to be on this list. Look, they do have the craziest sports fans in the entire world, I think. But here's the thing, is that if you're an athlete and you really want love and attention, this is exactly where you want to be. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a bunch of great franchises. So, but if, that's, the problem is if you don't get a ring, you're kind of forgotten. It's kind of like dating a girl in her 20s. You know, you see her 15 years later and she's like, and you are... <laughs> <laughs> I really went with the act out for that one, too. So. Yeah, big. <laughs> I went big on that show. Go big or go yeah. home. Of course I've been up there and there's girls that are like in tube tops, you know, like short shorts, and they like know Dustin Pedroia's stats. And I'm like, this is impressive. <laughs> That's impressive. The best city to be an athlete, it's got to be New York City. Not just because I live here, but look, I have wanted to be here since I was 10 years old. And if you play in New York and you show up for your team, you're set for life. The city will turn you into a legend. I do love it because everybody, oh, everybody is tough here. I was like walking through Penn Station once and there were two homeless guys who were just talking about how the Knicks better get their act together. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're the ones. This is That's great. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it's great. Bagels are $8. Uh, everyone goes through your uh, bags and stuff. It's like uh, living in an airport. <laughs> there are a lot of distractions and it's super expensive, but it's New York City. It you is great. You pay to live here. 